things that you should do before you actually move your furniture in. Some upgrades that some of them cost a bit of money, but believe me, if you do them before you move in, it'll save you a ton of hassle. <laughs> I hear so often that somebody hates the flooring that's there, can't wait to replace it, then they move in, they haven't replaced it, and I go back to visit them three years later, I'm like, oh, how's this pink carpet doing? You still have it. And they're like, yeah, well, the thought of moving all the furniture out again, it's just too much work, we're not gonna do it, we're keeping it. And then they replace it right before they go to sell and they live with the flooring that they really wanted for a short amount of time. Save yourself some money in the budget, put the flooring in before you move in. That way, you have it all done, your furniture's in place. While you have the flooring up if you're doing that, or even if you are leaving the flooring, painting baseboards is way easier when there is no furniture in the way. So is painting a room if you have to do that too, but baseboards are a spot that people don't paint very often, and if you wanna freshen up a room really quickly, Baseboard painting is a great thing to do. Other things that you might wanna change really quickly before you get in there, because it's kind of a hassle once your stuff is there, is lighting. So if you have lights that you wanna change in the ceiling or put in pot lights, drywall repair, things like that that might be a little bit messy or require some holes to be made, do that before you move in. If you hate a countertop, do that too. That's a pretty easy thing to replace, but no one likes to have their kitchen disrupted. So it's a fairly cheap repair or replacement if you need to do something like that. Do those things ahead of time. Treat yourself and make that house exactly what you want it to be. Because honestly, I hear it so often, these grand ideas people have. And yes, you might be a little stretched in your budget when you first get there, but it's worth it to get it done so you can actually enjoy your home while you're there instead of fixing it up to sell to someone else down the road.